if you've received the statutory notice about an overdue confirmation statement from company's house, I'll show you a step-by-step -step process on how you can file this document. Guys, remember that it's so important for you to do this. It says here that failure to comply may result in the directors being persecuted, receiving a criminal record, and a potential unlimited fine. This company has been given a 14-day notice to file this document or notify the company's house why the company is still required. Guys, I'm going to show you an easy way you can complete this in five minutes. Google company's house and click on this company's house gov.uk website. Then you would see this. Click on file your confirmation statement annual return. Once this open, click on start now. Then next, sign in to the web filing you need to sign in. So just create a new account. If it's the first time you're doing this, you will be asked to provide your name, email address, and mobile number. They will send an authentication code that will be delivered to your registered office by post within five days. Now, like I said, if you already have an authentication code, then it will take five minutes to complete this. Click on the link sent to your email address. Then you can now sign in by providing your email address and your password. Next, you can provide the security code sent to your email address and click on continue to the next page. On this next page, you will see your name and web filing. Now you can use it to file your annual accounts, confirmation statement, director or secretary changes. So just click on web filing. Make sure you read the information in this box and follow the other filing service if your company qualifies. If you want to learn how to file for a dormant account, click on this video here. Now on this next page, it says enter the details of your company you want to access. So you put in your registration number here. Where was the company registered? Was it in England or Wales, Scotland or Northern Ireland? Then click on continue to the next page. On this next page, you would have to confirm that is the correct company. You will see the company name, company number, status, incorporation date, company type, registered office address. You can either choose to select another company if you want to confirm another company, but Right now, we are going to continue with this page because it's the correct company. Confirm and continue. Confirmation statement overdue. It's in red. It's not good, guys. We have to fix this right now. File confirmation statement. On this page, it says it takes 15 minutes, but I told you you can do it in five minutes and it's 34 pounds. Guys, not what's getting a criminal record for 34 pounds. Click on start. Now, the question here is, were any of the company's shares admitted to trading on a market at any time during the confirmation statement period? Yes or no? My answer is no here. Next, is the registered email address correct? You tick yes, no, no, but an updated has been submitted. My answer is yes. So we'll just scroll down after doing that. It says, is the registered office address correct? I'll look at it and correct it. Next is, is the information about the officers correct? I'll tick yes or no. Yeah. And is the register's information correct? Select the right option. Then you scroll down to this part where it talks about the standard industrial classification information is correct. Make sure you select the right code. For statements of capital, you see the ordinary shares, the number of shares. Just make sure everything is correct here. Confirm it by ticking the share capital information is correct. Now we have shareholders. Make sure they are the right people. Tick the shareholders information is correct. Then we have the PSC. The question is, is the information about PSC is correct? Yes or no? Choose the right option confirmation i confirm that all the information required is delivered by the company after taking that you can take i confirm that the intended future activities of the company are lawful then click on submit guys if you've made any mistakes maybe you missed an area it will highlight it so that you can go back and correct your mistakes just tick it off after clicking on the submit button the payment page will pop up here you can click on what you want to use. Maybe you want to use your credit card or PayPal. Click on continue. How do you want to pay? 
credit or debit card that's what i want to use continue to payment is 34 pounds that's the end guys i'm not showing you guys my card <laughs> so we just complete the details here and you will see this confirmation of submission and payment now once you see this you know it's complete but it's very important for you to check your email you will see the first one which says that they've received your confirmation statement and finally that it has been accepted check the comment for a step-by-step -step process on how to file your accounts with companies house i'll see you in my next video bye